सो नाउ स्टूडेंट्स योर आयनिक बॉन्डिंग इज ओवर लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट कोवेलेंट बॉन्डिंग वॉट आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ कोवेलेंट बॉन्ड्स एक्सेट्रा एंड एक्सेट्रा वी हैव सीन इन आयनिक बॉन्डिंग वी हैव सीन लैटिस एंथेल्पी हाइड्रेशन एंथेल्पी सिमिलरली देर आर डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स इन कोवेलेंट बॉन्डिंग ऑल्सो सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज कोवेलेंट बॉन्ड एंड वॉट आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कोवेलेंट बॉन्ड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो योर कोवेलेंट बॉन्ड्स अनलाइक योर आयनिक बॉन्ड्स कोवेलेंट बॉन्ड डज नॉट डोनेट और एक्सेप्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन कोवेलेंट बॉन्ड मीन्स वॉट इट इज शेयरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू एटम दे शेयर देयर बैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन टू फॉर्म अ बॉन्ड दे डू नॉट डोनेट और एक्सेप्ट सो वी कैन से दैट कोवेलेंट बॉन्ड्स आर पेन का कुछ कर So we can say that your covalent bonds are formed by sharing of electron between two atoms or between two elements. So here you can see the example of hydrogen. Correct. You have seen the example of chlorine that is a Cl two. Similarly, you have a methane molecule that is a CH four. CH four. Then you have your H two O that is a water molecule. So let's understand. Since you know that your covalent bonding is sharing of electron, let's understand what are these different type of covalent bonds. So covalent bonds are of three types. Three types are what your single covalent bond, then you have double covalent bond, and then you have a triple covalent bond. Now you know that covalent bond is sharing of electron. So single bond that means what there will be two electrons, one electron from one element. and other electron from other element so they come together they share their electrons and they form a bond so single bond includes two electron your double bond includes four electron and your triple bond includes six electron so let's see what happens in single double and triple bond so first discuss about single bond so for that we'll take a simple example of dihydrogen so dihydrogen if we say that is the simplest covalent molecule which has a single covalent bond obviously your hydrogen has one outermost electron so it cannot form more than one bond correct so look on your screens your hydrogens if i draw the hydrogen hydrogen has one outermost electron similarly your other hydrogen has one outermost electron so they share with each other and they form h2 which is your simplest covalent molecule similarly if we talk about hydrogen your atomic number of hydrogen is 1 just now we have discussed atomic number of hydrogen is 1 and two hydrogen share one electron to complete their respective duplets so they complete their duplets and they form a stable hydrogen molecule hydrogen molecule now you can see on your screen how the bonding between two hydrogen of hydrogen molecules take place so you have hydrogen you have x x is nothing but your electrons or outermost electron so one hydrogen has one x that means obviously the atomic number only of hydrogen is one so the electrons are also one so other hydrogen also has one outermost electron so they combine together if you look at the structure properly if you look at the structure properly they combine and the duplet that is two electron is completed so one electron from one hydrogen and other electron from other hydrogen and they combine their duplet so let's now understand something about double covalent bond so let's take example of oxygen your o2 molecule o2 molecule is your dioxygen is a covalent molecule now because dioxygen o2 like this because your oxygen is something like this correct so oxygen forms a double bond so we can say that dioxygen is a covalent molecule which has a double covalent bond now let's discuss about your double covalent bond let's discuss about your double covalent bond so when we talk about your double covalent bond your oxygen atomic number is what let's consider oxygen molecule that is your o2 molecule 
What is the atomic number of oxygen? That is eight. If I write electronic configuration of oxygen, that is two and six. So how many electrons does oxygen need to complete its octet? It needs only two electrons. So one oxygen gives two electron. Other oxygen gives it two electron, and that is how the oxygen octet is completed. And since both the oxygen are sharing two electrons each, that means what? We will get a double covalent bond. Your oxygen will form a double bond with another oxygen. Now you can see on your screen the example how the octet is completed. Now look over here. This oxygen has six valence electron. Similarly, this oxygen also has six valence electron. And how they are shown? They are shown by the X symbol. So this six valence electron, six valence electron, both of them need two electrons each. So two electrons are shared. Look over here. Two electrons are shared, and this is how. they get their octet complete by forming a double bond hence your oxygen molecule forms a double bond because two electrons are shared from each oxygen to complete its octet mm -hmm.